Hi, Tammy here. Um, it is day eight and it's Saturday. So this is the eighth day. I did it from last Saturday until today. And uh, I'm still going. I've lost 12 pounds in um, the eight days. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I, uh, I had some really bad cravings last night. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that I have a great um, fondness for uh, jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. And that is a weakness for me. So I took a couple out of the bag and sniffed them. <laughs> and put them back and then I licked a piece of bacon <laughs> um, I was really really hungry not see I don't know if you can call it hunger or if you can just call it um, desire you know like I, I know the foods I know what they taste like my mouth was watering a lot last night when I was cooking the bacon for my husband and I warmed up some sausages that I got from um, a Hutterite farmer or a Mennonite I'm not sure it could have been Amish I'm really not sure anyways he owns a, a farm and uh, he came to the place that I work I guess the lady who I'm taking over for while she's away buys stuff from him and he sells eggs and bacon and or sorry, not bacon, but jerky and sausage and a bunch of other things. And so I bought a pack of sausages, and that was really tempting. I also took a couple of sample pieces of the jerky, and um, I gave one to the dog and one to my husband. He didn't want it right away, so I put it in the fridge. All the handling of food, when you have a family, it's really difficult to put yourself back from the food. You can't stay away from the food because you got to take care of your family, right? So, if, you know, um, having a husband and children or just a husband makes it really hard to, um, <laughs> sorry, um, makes it really tough to, to do the diet as, um, proficiently as you can. I, I, for lack of a better word, I really don't know. Uh, it, it's very tough to see all that food. I made him the a whole half a pound of bacon because I buy my bacon in the in the you know in the pack of bacon that's like four or five dollars, right? <coughs> Excuse me, and um, my poopy tea. So I, I, and then I cut the bacon in half, so I get eight packs of bacon rather than four in um, a pack at Costco of four packs of bacon for like 12 bucks or whatever. So anyway, um, I think they raised it up to $15 now. Son of a biscuit, man. It's not like pork is going out of style. So anyways, i got to stop saying anyways and just continue on what I'm speaking. So I made him some bacon and some sausages, and I also made him um, some jasmine rice and some cauliflower and green beans. And all of that was just a little too much, so I licked the bacon. It uh, <laughs> didn't do nothing. It didn't have any kind of a... Um, so I took a piece of the... You know when you're laying... I put my bacon in the oven, right? And you know when you lay it on this on the on the tray, and I had wax paper underneath, and then so as it cooks, there are pieces of like little pieces of the fat, I guess, and the grease that drips off. I took a small piece, like less half the size, like three quarters the one quarter the size of my finger. Sorry, I'm really bad with math. Anyways, it was really, really thin, and I sucked on that. I put it in my mouth, and I sucked on it so I could eat it. I was so, so tempted. Um, 
I even picked up a piece of bacon and and then put it back. I was like, can I do this? This is really tough. This is really a hard cleanse to do because you are not... <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say two words at the same time. You're not allowed to eat anything. You don't eat a single thing. You don't touch nothing. You don't eat nothing. It's that simple. Obviously, you can touch something if you want. It's your choice. But anyway, so um, I have been drinking my poopy tea. It's going good. Um, I also have been drinking some uh, peppermint tea. I found this at the Dollar Giant, and it is really good peppermint tea. It actually tastes quite, quite pretty, quite nice. Um, it's got a real pepperminty flavor and scent to it um, and it was only a dollar twenty five for the twenty bags right so if you are low on money and you really need to save some money because you got bills or whatever or you just thrifty and wise then get this tea right you don't have to buy expensive holistic tea or whatever well you can if you want to but honestly you're on a cleanse so I don't think it really matters <laughs> But that's just my opinion, so I'm not big on, you know, buying Ezekiel bread when you can go to the bread store and buy that same Ezekiel style bread, which is sprouted grain bread, by the way. So don't waste your money on the name brand. It's like buying Levi's or Walmart jeans, although I don't know why someone would want to buy Walmart jeans. They suck buttons and, um, you know, Levi's are really really good jeans. But anyway, so bad, bad example. Um, it's, it's just crazy to buy Ezekiel bread when you can get sprouted bread, um, elsewhere and at the bread store for like a dollar 39, I think I pay for my, my sprouted grain bread and it's from Hills, Hills Brothers or Silver, Silver Hills. That's what it is. And they, it's freaking awesome. It tastes the same as Ezekiel bread. It's, it's the same. It's all the same, man. Probably comes from the same factory. I know, I used to work at a cherry factory and we pitted cherries and they all went into different containers and we did apples too. And they had name brands and they had non-name brands and they all were the same cherries and the same apples and the same vinegar and... It, the plant that I worked at did a lot of stuff. It was in North Bay. And... But anyways, um, so I have lost 12 pounds, like I said. I have been taking my poopy tea every day, uh, except last night and the night before, I only took um, a Senna tablet, which is like a laxative tablet. It's from the Senna leaves, which is where, you know, you get Senna caught from the doctor or whatever. But this you can just buy right over the counter at Safeway. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm glad to be rid of my um, confessions. And, oh, and yesterday I only drank one of those um, big containers. One of these yesterday. I only drank one of these, and that's the 24 fluid ounces of my lemonade because I just was really struggling yesterday, you know. And um, but I did drink an entire one of these, and this is 50.7 fluid ounces. So that's a lot of water, and I drank that whole thing. I know it doesn't seem like much water for some people, but for other people, it's like, what? How can you drink that much water? And other people, it's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's good. So everybody's different, right? So I drank that, and every night when I go to sleep, um, I always take a bottle, a frozen, half-frozen bottle of water and then fill it up with the water so that I have frozen water um, at night. And if you actually fill it up with the, fr with the fresh water, it won't stay frozen all night long. So don't do that if you want ice-cold water all the way through the night. Um, just leave it frozen. Just put a little bit of um, of your water in that's uh, room temperature or whatever. So, 
Anyways, I keep forgetting that the camera's up there and I keep looking at myself instead, which is really narcissistic. <laughs> but I suppose putting these things on, on here can be narcissistic. Although I do want to help you through your fast, so um, just, you know, I've been doing exercises as well. I haven't been doing, you know, perfect exercises. I just, you know, sometimes stand there and you know, um, lift my arms. I did bring some weights, um, some two pounds and five pound weights. I do some bicep curls until failure. I do um, pull ups till failure and tricep um, kickbacks, which are these ones, and um, and then tricep flies, which are these ones. And I have lost a significant amount of weight. You can see it. And I constantly wear these pants so that when I'm doing the video so that you can see um, the difference. I don't know if you're going to be able to see because this, um, oh, okay, so I think you can see the difference in my bum. My saddlebags have gone down. They're not out to here like they were. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, and uh, my belly has gone down some. My butt is going up. I'm losing this part of my um, this part of my thigh, which is good because this is all fat right in here. It's all ribbly fat, so that that's like cellulite and stuff. And my boobs need to get back up here, and my waist needs to go in. Um, a really good waist um, thing is to go over to stand with your feet firmly planted on the ground, feet tracking forward, knees following that, a slight bend in your knees, not much, and then just up and over, up and over. Um, so do as much exercise as you possibly can. Um, oh, and also another one for your, uh, for your you can do it sitting down if you need to. So there's no excuses that you can't do anything. Um, another really good exercise that I do is just lifting the side leg, um, and that helps to get rid of the, uh, the saddlebags. I haven't been doing it on a faithful basis, obviously. Okay, so um, I guess that's it, people. And uh, one day when I wave, Sorry, I need to shave. <laughs> um, I'll get rid of all this, you know, this fatty waddy junk, right? It's just terrible. Look at all that. That's awful. And it goes right into my elbow piece right in here. It's all fatty. Sorry. Yucky. Anyway. Well, I guess that's it. There's nothing more I need to say, nothing more I can say. I want you to have a great day, and um, just keep doing it. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. You can do it. It's not going to kill you. You know, one thing that I keep reminding myself, when I look at the, the Cheeto bag and I kick it further underneath the coffee table because we've got a two-tiered coffee table and my husband likes to keep his sour babies and, and his treats there. One of the things that I think to myself when I look at that stuff is there's more bacon out there. There is more Cheetos. There are more hamburgers. There is more chicken. There's more steak. There's more tenderloin. There's, we're not going to run out of food. You know, people are saying, oh, we're going to run out of food. Well, not in the next 10 days, right? <laughs> and I've got a whole freezer load of food that I'm not going to starve. There is craft dinner. There is eggs. There is, you know, tons and tons and tons of food that a person can eat. You know, you can eat canned chili, canned tuna, canned salmon. You can eat sardines. I started eating sardines. They're actually not that bad. So, anyways, uh, you just have to tell yourself... This is not forever. I am going to be able to eat again. Take your your um, 
See, I bought a bunch of vegetables before I started this fast. I didn't realize it was just an impromptu thing. Everything with me seems to be impromptu. And so I started the fast and I had already bought a six pound bag of oranges. I threw them in my fridge. I keep them for like months, right? And they're fine. They're fine. Um, anyways, and uh, I have eggs that I think have been sitting there for about two months. I'm going to put them in the water, do the water test to see if they're actually okay because they produce gases. I didn't know that, but I've always eaten them. They, I'm fine. Hardly ever go to the doctor. Actually, never go to the doctor, really. Um, except for sometimes for depression or whatever and, you know, emotional things that are bothering me. Um, but not for sickness. I don't, you know, if I get a cold, I take an aspirin. I take some vitamin C. I eat an orange. I, you know, pump up on my garlic and my um, peppers and like cayenne peppers and I eat mostly healthy foods except for my jalapeno cheddars and my um, like the che Cheetos and pop tarts I started eating pop tarts a lot and that really gained me some weight um, I know that there's a group on Facebook that does um, pop tarts and that's the with the intermittent fast not intermittent fasting um, if it fits your macros and you can do that if it fits your macros. Well, your macros are your fats, your proteins, and your carbs, and your fiber. Now, you have to make sure that you get, the fiber doesn't really, they don't really count fiber so much, but it's, I think it's a good idea to count your fiber because if you're not getting fiber then, you know, and you're getting your carbs from things other than fibrous foods, you are, um, putting unnecessary stress and strain on your on your liver and your your pancreas and your spleen and all that stuff that's inside and and so anyways they um, there was there was a rash of women and men that were going on saying you know hey I've got a mixed bowl tonight to to fill up my um, my macro count because they're allow allotted a specific amount of macros each day and they would have like pop tarts mixed in with ice cream with you know chunks of chocolate and and um oreos and other good stuff and it would just be a mishmash bowl of candy and goodness and uh it always caused me to wonder and it caused a lot of people to wonder in fact that people started commenting but you know these women were losing weight these men were losing weight and they were gaining muscle and so if it fits your macros then you could probably do it now you have to eat a lot less food because those things are higher in caloric density right they are caloric value so when you eat a mars bar like in the nowloss.com which is a very 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 I can't stress it enough. I, you can only be on that site for so long before you're just amazed with how much knowledge and and like everything is a link. Hey, everything, just about every sentence that he's got there, there he's got a link to that specific information, that other part of his. Um, website. It's amazing. Go to it now. It's called nowloss.com. You won't be disappointed. You'll find tons of exercises and um, all kinds of exercises, like things that you wouldn't even imagine. So um, for all types of your body, uh, for all parts of your body, for all body types. So if you're wounded, if you're injured, if you're overweight, if you're lazy, if you're tired and you can't do things, they've got, he's got, you know, um, things for you too. So anyways, um, modify, modifications and variations. So anyway, um, I don't remember exactly what I was saying. I know I was talking about the macros and how the pop tarts got me fat because I was simply eating my food plus I was eating a bunch of other stuff. So my macro count was way over for what I needed to lose weight. And so now that I'm on this cleanse, I'm down to 1,000 milligram or 1,000 calories a day with my things. And then I put a little bit of maple syrup in my um, 
in my tea because I don't like the taste of, of the Senna tea, right? When it's fresh, um, I like the taste of it. This bag that I, I've had it for about, you know, six months to a year now, and uh, it doesn't taste that great, right? It loses its savor, and it used to have a really nice, um, like, chamomile flavor, but now it doesn't, so. Anyway, uh, there's not much else I can tell you. I'm kind of bored. I just want to talk, and I'm sure you don't want to sit around and listen to me because blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And I keep looking at the wrong part of the screen. I want to look up there. I wish it had like a blinking light. Bing, bing, bing. To show me that, you know, that look up here, look up here, look up here. Anyway, um, I leave you on a good note. 12 pounds in eight days. You can do it too. Just don't worry. Um, have a glass of lemonade if you're still hungry, if you're weak and you need some more, um, um, something to help you to get over the weakness and, um, and the dizziness. If you're experiencing dizziness, drink some water, drink some freaking water, man. Have a glass of water. Don't go dehydrated because it's so easy to forget your water when you're drinking that much stuff like when all you're doing is drinking it's easy to forget to drink water and don't forget your poopy tea that is extremely important one day I forgot it but I did still lose weight so that was wonderful it was my second day that I forgot the tea and I had lost three pounds by day two I think it was so my first day I lost you know the first day you don't count anything because it's your first day and then by the second day I had lost three pounds second day I didn't take any Senna tea or no poopy tea nothing like that and the next day I think I had lost five pounds in total so um, it's all like I had a lot to lose I'm five foot one so I'm very short in you know in stature but um, I weigh 175 pounds, and that was pretty heavy for a 5'1 person. And I'm very small boned. Um, you know, um, it's the it's the smallest on the scale. Um, not the smallest. I know much smaller, smaller people, but that's it's a size like my ring size is a size five. Um, anyway, tiny, tiny boned, and. Um, I shouldn't weigh this much. I should not be this heavy. So anyways, this is what the Master Cleanse is all about. Getting rid of the excess fat that stores toxins because that's the most favorite place for toxins and bad cells and diseased cells to sit in is your fat stores because you don't get rid of your fat cells. The cells just shrink and they stay. Now hopefully, I still have not done a... Um, an internet search to see if the fat cells actually uh, get out of your body, like get flushed out. Um, but who who knows, right? Anyways, I've also been doing, my face looks better. It's clearer. I've been using coconut oil as the moisturizer um, on my face after I wet it. And I don't use a lot of soap or whatever. And I just... Um, I just put a hot cloth over my face and I just let it sit there. I just let it sit there and let my face soak in the hotness and I keep doing that about three or four times. And then I took my um, my coconut oil and I rub it all over my face. Now when you're rubbing your face, ladies, important, when you're rubbing your face or doing your makeup, go in like this with your makeup to take the stuff off so you don't get a lot of um, wrinkles, okay? And then go like this when you're doing your face creams. Always pull everything up. Don't go down. Don't pull yourself down. You don't want to do that. You want to go up, 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 right? So, because if you pull down, you're pulling, you're stretching your face down. So you always want to pull yourself up. Anyway, guys, do that too, because it won't hurt you. Anyway, have a wonderful day, and I'm going to go do some exercises and drink my poopy tea and then start my lemonade because it's already 10.30. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.